Hello, sports fans. This is the Bookmaker Podcast with Art F. Dakari, a.k.a. Mr. Bookmaker, your source for the sports betting industry 24-7. Sit back, relax, and listen as Mr. Bookmaker highlights what's happening right now in the world of sports. So, without further ado, here's your host, Art F. Dakari. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another edition of the Bookmaker Podcast. I'm your host, Artif Takari. Really glad that you can join us. Before we get started, you know the deal. Get to our website. You know the address, bookmakerinfo.com. That's www.bookmaker-info.com. We got the links to all the best European, Asian, and United States-friendly bookmaker sites. And as always, our bookmaker guide is available for you to download. So stop wasting time. Hurry up and download it. Real quick before we move on, just want to point something out, and this will be the last time that I do the Bookmaker Podcast. I would just like to say that it has been a lot of fun, and yeah, I will miss it. But with that, let's move on a bit. Before we get to our A to Z sports betting lingo, make sure you check out our blogs. Dan is busy breaking it down with cricket, and of course, Patrick knows his American sports, so please show these guys some support. And also... Make sure you check out my blog, the Mr. Bookmaker Football Blog, or soccer, depending on where you are in the world. All right, first thing is first, it is our A to Z sports betting lingo time. And what is our concept for today? It is underlay. Now, what is an underlay? Well, an underlay is a situation in which the odds on a game favor the house rather than the better. So those of you who are enjoying This online sports betting process, I'm sure you understand the situation when it is an underlay. So don't forget, our concept for today is underlay. All right, now, as I'm getting to my first bookie for this edition, not a surprise, I'm at William Hill. That is www.williamhill.com, one of my favorites. And right now, I'm in the mood to check out the English Premier League. So who do you think will finish as the top scorer of the English Premier League. Well, let's see right now who the top favorites are. You got Harry Kane, 5-2, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, 5-2, Mohamed Salah, 11-4, Sergio Aguero, 9-1, Aiden Hazard, 12-1, Raheem Sterling, 25-1. So there's plenty more other possible wagers that you can choose. All up to you. I'm sure you have your favorites that you're wanting to place a wager on. And currently right now, the top scorer of the English Premier League is Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang of Arsenal with 13 goals, followed by Mohamed Salah with 12, Harry Kane also with 12, Aiden Hazard has 10, Raheem Sterling has 9. So, have some fun with this, but we're not done with the English Premier League just yet. Now... What about the odds for which teams will stay up? Okay, now this, of course, directly affects me because anyone who's been listening to the Bookmaker Podcast knows that I am a diehard supporter of Cardiff City. But right now, here are the odds. 1-14 to for Southampton to stay in the Premiership. 1-7 to for Newcastle. 7-4 to for Burnley. 11-8 to for Fulham. 5-2 to for Huddersfield Town. 6-5 to for Cardiff City. Okay, now when looking at the standings, you know, what are the standings telling us for now when we look at the table for the English Premier League? The team at the very bottom right now with 10 points, that's Huddersfield Town. Fulham with 11 points, Burnley with 12. So here are those three teams, Burnley, Fulham, and Huddersfield. Those three teams occupy the three relegation spots. Just outside of the relegation zone, you got Cardiff City with 15, Southampton with 15, Newcastle with 17 points. Now, of course, this is scary if you're a Cardiff fan. Yes, they are not in the relegation zone right now, but they're only three points clear of the relegation zone. So, obviously, what would I like to see? Well, you guessed it. I want to see Cardiff get away from that relegation zone as much as possible. So, let's see what happens. And, of course, wishing good luck to my boys, Cardiff City. And before we continue, like I said before, get to our website as soon as you can. You know, the address, bookmakerinfo.com. That's www.bookmaker-info.com. Our bookmaker guide is available for you to download, so stop wasting time. Hurry up and download it. And of course, as I mentioned, this is my last time doing the Bookmaker Podcast, so just making something clear as well that the Bookmaker Podcast will be 
on a small kind of hiatus until further notice. And as always, just like to say that it has been fun, but we are not done with this edition just yet. Okay, everybody, let's move on now. But I am still at William Hill. That's www.williamhill.com. And for those of you who know me very well, yes, I love the hashtag Your Odds, but this time I'm checking out the Your Odds hashtag for politics at William Hill. So there's a good amount of wagers here available, so let's take a look at what you can place a wager on here. How about Al Franken to win the 2024 United States presidential election? 33 to 1 odds for that one. All right, other good ones here. How about United Kingdom to still be a full member of the European Union at the end of 2020? Six to four odds for that one. Now, for two of my favorites. First, you got Ivanka Trump to be the first female president of the United States before 2025. 33 to one odds there. What a story that would be. Now, another one that really caught my eyes with 100 to one odds. Matt Damon to be the president of the United States by the end of 2040. I mean, wow, Matt Damon. And you know, the first question on my mind is, will his running mate be Ben Affleck? And you know, if that, and if that's the case, then I think it would make sense. But the, the fact is that Matt Damon would probably be doing everything and Ben Affleck would probably just be sitting around talking about the Boston Red Sox or, you know, whatever. But either way, like I said, 100 to 1 odds for Matt Damon to be the president of the United States by the end of 2040. We do not have a possible wager at the moment for who his running mate would be. But seriously, come on. It's got to be Ben Affleck. It just has to be. So get to William Hill as soon as you can. Once again, you know the address, www.williamhill.com. Okay, everybody, you know what time it is. It is time for some Patty Power. And yes, to finish off my last edition of the Bookmaker Podcast... Of course, I'm going to be sharing with you some Trump specials. Are you ready? Well, I know you are because you're listening to the Bookmaker Podcast. Here we go. So what will Donald Trump ban during his first term? And it says here, the ban must be put in place for the entire country rather than specific states. So I made that clear for you. Well, let's just say I don't want to share that many. But, you know, here are some of them. Will Trump outlaw the theory of evolution okay if you think he will do that the odds here 50 to 1 next 500 to 1 for trump to ban stairs yes i said it and i'll say it again stairs wow i really don't know what to say about that but that's where i'm gonna leave it some of these other ones i really do not feel like sharing but you got to get to patty power and look for the trump specials to find out these other entertaining ones. I'll just leave it at that. Next, I'll be, you know, flip-flopping a bit. How about some talk involving one of Trump's best buddies, Kim Jong-un? So what year will Kim Jong-un cease to be Supreme Commander of North Korea, or also known as DPR Korea, Democratic People's Republic of Korea? If you think it'll be 2031 or later, 4 to 7. If you think it'll be between 2021 and 2025, 9 to 2 odds. Next, 5-1 to one odds for Kim Jong-un to cease to be Supreme Commander between 2026 and 2030. And 5-1 to one odds if you think he will no longer be the Commander between now and the year 2020. So, some good ones here from Patty Power. Next one that I want to share is, which leader will Elton John perform for first? If you think Donald Trump, 1-4. to four. If you think Kim Jong-un, 5-1. to one. You know, I find this... Interesting for sure because, you know, we know Kim Jong-un loves basketball, but you know, maybe he is a big fan of Elton John. You know, it would just be quite a scene to see Elton John singing Crocodile Rock in Pyongyang. Next, some Trump Homeland Security Specials. How about Madonna to be deported? If you think that'll happen, 80 to 1 odds. I mean, seriously, Madonna, why? I mean, why would you want to deport the material girl living in a material world? Really, come on now. 80 to 1 odds also for Michael Moore to be deported. Well, I don't know what to say about that one. You know, he does work hard making his films. But let's move on now. 
And next, some Trump religion specials. How about Trump to convert to Scientology? If you think that'll happen, 25 to 1 odds. And last but not least, a Trump Russia special. Trump to have a Russian airport named after him, 100 to 1 odds. Well, that's it for the Trump specials here at Patty Power. Make sure you go to this bookie as soon as you can. You know the address, www.pattypower.com. Okay, everybody, and that is it for this edition of the Bookmaker Podcast. And, of course, this was my last time doing the Bookmaker Podcast. And I would just like to thank everyone from Bookmaker Info for the opportunity to be the host of the Bookmaker Podcast. It definitely was good times. And to my friend from the Bookmaker crew, just want to say, hey, the times have changed. The Cleveland Browns are good. The San Francisco 49ers are not. Wow. Who would have thought such a thing? And remember, of course, you will not be able to hear me anymore on the Bookmaker Podcast, but if you would like to read what I write, you can still check out the Mr. Bookmaker football blog anytime you like, especially if you want to be kept up to date on European Championship qualifying, and I'm also covering the 2019 Asian Cup in the UAE as well. Thank you, everybody, for the support. Really do appreciate it, and I hope you all have a happy new year. This has been the Bookmaker Podcast with Art F. Takari, a.k.a. Mr. Bookmaker. Thanks for listening. If you haven't already, please show some love by subscribing to this podcast on iTunes or Stitcher. Till next time, this, this is, is Mr. Mr. Bookmaker, Bookmaker over and out. And out.